welcome to the third game of the evening. Uh, up this time, um, we are reviewing Freddy Spaghetti. Um, and, yeah, that's actually quite literal, because this is a game about playing as a spaghetti strand named Freddy. Um, you know, he was the creation of a Dr. P. Star, who colloquially... Co well, locally, however you pronounce that, um, gets known as Dr. Pasta because he really, really wanted to bring spaghetti to life and be sentient. I'm uh -huh. like, he, he's quite mad. A little bit. little bit. Anyway, um, in practice, this is a physics-based uh, simulator, although... I think we're really stretching the definition of the word simulator. Mm hmm No. Because, honestly... Is, Fred... it as, is it as far of a twist on simulator as that one where you're a piece of bread that wants to toast itself? I mean... <laughs> kinda? Kinda, but... But, like, here's the thing. Freddy doesn't really move like a wet noodle. Like, he, he's not very sticky, thankfully. Mm -hmm. Like, honestly, this may be the best um, one of these physics uh, move em up bobs I've ever played. It's not high praise, because I usually hate them, because <laughs> physics are awful. But, you know, honestly, um, the movement was, you know, is decent, at least in my estimation. Um Petty got uh, the PlayStation 4 version. Um, and what was your experience with Freddy Spaghetti? Um, I wouldn't say the movement was great. Like, there are sometimes yeah. it just wasn't responsive at all. It's not great, but it's not like um, fucking Quop. Fair. Know? But, like, I, I could move Freddy with regularity it's just this game st uh, hurt my hands after a bit of time because they really like levels that go on and on and on and on mm -hmm. I mean, they're not that long but they're still long when you're moving each part of the spaghetti via a, a shoulder button mm -hmm. you know and like i said a, a favorite trick of this game is to d just have freddy basically run yeah, mm -hmm. and th that's just more a matter of rhythm than anything else. Like I could do it, wasn't fun, but I could do it. Anyway, um, back over to you, Petty. So yeah, overall the game was, I guess, fine, though. I hate the platform section. Like I don't know if you got to the future area. I got like a couple levels in. And honestly, I got bored with the game. Yeah, once you get to the um, future section, there is a straight-up platforming challenge with these controls. It's as bad as it sounds. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, like I said, you know, Freddy moves competently, but not great. And mm -hmm. the jumping is... <laughs> Infuriating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very un like undulating, because well, you you can see Petty showcasing the jumping here. Um, it's based off of timing, like uh, you got to hold down one or both, and can be, you know, frustrating. And and you can't move the camera around to see if you're anywhere near, you know, a good angle. It's a fixed camera. Um, no. Yeah. Um, and then there are other physics-based things, like you can um, knock items about. Yeah. And um, there's one uh, with keyboard. Yeah, I thought the keyboard wasn't that bad. Oh, but, I found that to be tedious as fuck. Oh, it's tedious, but it's not, you know, one of the most infuriating things in the game. Fair enough. Fair enough. 
And yeah, um, here we get to you can kick balls and stuff. Yeah, I, I didn't enjoy, enjoy this one because you know the controls are fairly imprecise and the ball just flies. Yeah, it doesn't have very good physics. But guys, they can geometrically model a soccer ball so well. <laughs> oh, is it your turn to hit him or mine? <laughs> <laughs> Some people just really like truncated icosahedrons. Or I'm guessing by some people you mean you. <clears throat> no, I'm not actually that big of a fan. Hmm. But yeah, this is a weird area that I don't want to explore. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I think this might just be a straight icosahedron. Anyway. Right. Anyway. But um yeah. But that you know, that does get to the graphics and they're there. Mm hmm. You know, um, it's that particular kind of cell shaded with fairly low detail polygons. Uh huh. I'm like, once again, this is a game that Rada like you just ported, but it fits their um, neutral loaf aesthetic fairly well. Like, you know, nothing here is bad, if not, you know, a bit on the low poly side, um, but it, nothing here really stands out as an art style. But like, to put it another way, it's shockingly bland when you, with a game that you are playing as a sentient spaghetti strand ads. <laughs> you know. Do they even let you become a flying monster and start a religion? Um... <laughs> <laughs> if they do, I haven't gotten there yet. Yeah. They let you like, become a giant strand of spaghetti. Yeah. Because Freddy wants to murder the world because he found out that um, spaghetti is eaten. And he didn't like that. <laughs> but then um, police pushback uh, prompted him to retreat and recant. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, like I said, this game is fairly insane. When you get down to it, fairly. <laughs> but it's all. But um, you know, it is like Octodad and I Am Bread, where its graphics are shockingly down to earth for the most part. You know, outside of like your player character. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. The music. Uh, I could remember one goddamn thing about it. Yeah, like, the future section, I just ended up turning the music off at that point. Because, oh my god, it's like a 15 second loop. And yeah, that was not fun. No doubt. And, yeah, there were about 40 levels. It just, um... You know, they're fairly short, mm -hmm. um, at least in practice. I said, some of them just kept going and going. Well, and some of the problem with some levels is they have a very big problem with invisible walls. Without anything letting you know that there's a wall there, you could not go there. Mm -hmm. And I said, there are what, four worlds, uh, ten levels each, mm -hmm. and, like, about five bonus levels, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah. The bonus levels are really just the keyboard segment, but you're putting in different words. Yeah. Like, and... Uh, that's about it, really. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it, you know, it's another rather like a special, like, um, all things being considered. Not bad, not uh, particularly great, fairly uh, fairly mundane, fairly average, mm -hmm. is in my estimation. Which, once again, puts it as the greatest physics um, movement game I've ever fucking played. <laughs> because, yeah, I usually fucking hate these. I'm not going to lie. No. So, that's an accomplishment in and of itself. <laughs> It didn't make Adam want to commit murder. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and here's the keyboard segment. Put that on your Steam page. 
again. <laughs> Don't actually put that on your Steam page. <laughs> anyway, um, so this game will run you five ninety uh, five dollars four ninety nine. Um, all systems, like. I'm imagining this game is pretty much the same on everything. Um, Probably. Worth noting that Rada Like You games are now uh, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X compatible. So, yeah, you can get this uh, particular game on your next-gen console or current-gen console, as the case may be. And oh, I th think I got caught in the keyboard. Yeah, yeah, that happened to me on more than one occasion. Uh, you know, this ga uh, this game is a bit on the rough side, technologically speaking, as well. Yeah. Like I said, it, it gets the mildest of recommendations from me. Mm -hmm. uh, what about you, Petty? I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever played, but I can only do it in short bursts. I uh, definitely need something else to play. Oh you yeah. know, this is a this was a game I played for about a half an hour tops. Even that was a fucking stretch. <laughs> anyway, uh, anything else? I think I'm good. Unless you guys have any questions. I don't. I'm good. All right. All right, then. Um, so that'll about do it for Freddy Spaghetti. Uh, be sure to tune in after the break, as Twilight will be tackling Kaiju Big Battle, Kaito Fantasy.